Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. Karibu to the Kakamega edition of the Great Debaters Contest. I am your host, Austin Nyumbok. And I am Mariam Bishar. Today we are discussing a very emotive issue, security. We are asking, is the Nyumbakumi Initiative our greatest hope towards increased security? Lubinu Boys versus Friends School Kivaiwa. We'll have the first proposer take the stage. You have three minutes. From Kivaiwa High School is Ian Matasi Wamukota. Proposing the motion that states the Nyumba Kumi initiative is the greatest hope for Kenya's increased security. First and foremost, our country today is faced with numerous daunting challenges that hinder our progress and obscure our achievements. One of the major problems is insecurity. We find ourselves asking, what is insecurity? Insecurity is the state of being unprotected. Now, our government then came up with the Nyumba Kumi initiative to act as a fountain of hope in the desert of despair. By the look of your faces, most of you are wondering, what is Nyumba Kumi? Now, the Nyumba Kumi involves each and every member of the community and not just a few individuals. It is about knowing our immediate 10 neighbors. As we all know, the greatest tragedy in life is life without purpose, life without hope. But it is out of this Nyumba Kumi that we can have hope for a better tomorrow and dream of brighter days. Firstly, the Nyumba Kumi initiative creates awareness. You see, this Nyumba Kumi enables us to know who our ne immediate neighbors are and what they do for a living. So we'll be able to know the criminals in our society and at the end of the day, we'll report them to the immediate authorities and they will be arrested. Another thing, the Nyumba Kumi builds trust within us and also creates a sense of peace. Lastly, the Nyumba Kumi initiative creates unity in the country. How sweet it is to see a Hindu associating with a Christian. How sweet it is to see a Maasai associating with a Digo or even a Duruma, irrespective of their differences. It is out of this Nyumba Kumi that these people will interact. And it is through this unity that comes from the Nyumba Kumi that these people will come together and fight terrorism. It is through their unity that all these forms of insecurity will be eradicated and peace will reign in our country. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes for your opening statement. No, no, no. I say no. Our time is yet to come. Our redemption is yet home. Nyumbakumi Initiative. We still don't have what we deserve. Peace. Disunity. Violence. Let's say Injustice, all because of this pathetic conception, Nyumbakumi Initiative. The Nyumbakumi Initiative is a concept and not a number. I know you are shocked. I can see this from your embassies. Nyumbakumi Initiative, though being a Swahili phrase for 10 households, it does not actually mean that it is a specific number of households, the number of households clustered should not be imposed, neither should it be fixed. Nyumba Kumi Initiative, what a pathetic conception. Look, at, look, at, look here, my fellow Kenyans, why should we open our eyes wide? Why? Why shouldn't we just sit down and try to reason just for our future? Look at this pathetic conception which was brought to us. Imagine leaving a country where policemen are relaxed just because they have got less work to do. Imagine violation of privacy all because of this pathetic conception. Nyumbakumi 
initiative. Imagine living in a country where freedom of movement, especially for the youth, is not allowed. Let's try to be realistic. Let's try to be open to ourselves. Nyumba Kumi initiative won't help us. It will totally not help us. Nyumba Kumi initiative does not support social cohesion. It does not. In fact, it isn't corruption. Tribalism will be brought all through the cluster of houses that are there. If some local policemen can pick bribe from Kenyan, yet the Nyumbakumi Initiative law has not been imposed, what if we impose the law? I would like to summarize by saying Nyumbakumi Initiative is nothing but an initiative. It's just a foundation of national discrimination by our own using by our own orga wrong organization. I'm Dixon Ingosi, Lubino Boys High School. Thank you. We'll now hear rebuttals. Proposals, you have three minutes. Fellow Kenyans, I want to counter the first proposal. You talked about this Nyumbakumi initiative rendering police officers jobless. Let me make you clear. The Nyumbakumi initiative is not all about making the policemen jobless. It, it's all about knowing your neighbor, knowing what activities your neighbor are taking place, what activities your neighbor is uh, actually undertaking in, knowing what he's doing at a particular time. He's not taking the police's officer. If you notice anything, anything suspicious in your neighbor's behavior, you should notify the relevant authority immediately, not the police officers, the Kenyan police officers, are usually actually trained to investigate on insecurity matters. So there's no point of you saying that this initiative will render policemen jobless. Brothers and sisters, nobody wishes to stay in a chaotic and insecure environment. We are all Kenyans, and we all desire to live in a secure environment. I'm Wesonga Noah from Kivaya Boys High School. The Nyumbakumi Initiative is indeed the greatest hope of Kenyans increased security. Through this initiative, you get to know the kind of neighbors you're living with. Despite the fact that we live or we have able and fully trained armed forces, the security insecurity index in our country has been rising over a period of time steadily, and yet we have the armed forces in our nation. The Nyumbakumi Initiative forges friendships. It is through this Nyumbakumi that you get friends. We create friends by socializing. It is through this friendship that you'll get to know the details, or you get to know who your neighbor is, who your friend is. When you have the details about your friend, in case of any suspicious behavior or any ill behavior that your friend is engaging in, you will be able to go and report. I'm not really meaning spying, but we, are all, we all want to live in a secure environment. Secondly, it is through this Nyumbakumi that the intelligence wing of our defense forces or armed forces will get first-hand information. Actually, uh, it's through this Nyumbakumi that our armed forces will get first-hand information, and this will enable them to curb the insecurity, that, uh, insecurity factor that is going to happen in our nation. Our president in his speech said, our security begins with you and I. So fellow Kenyans, think twice, because this Nyumakumi initiative is very vital in our lives as Kenyans. Thank you. Opposition, you also have three minutes for your rebuttal. Thank you. 
Nyumba Kumi initiative is not Kenya's greatest hope for increased security. First of all, it credits violation of privacy. In Kenya, the, con- the constitution was very clear when it states that everybody has a right to privacy. You can't just go on interfere with someone's affair. And Nyumba Kumi initiative neglects that. My second, my second point is that it has enhanced ethnicity. You find out that in Kenya, there is a great monster, tribalism, a great monster that has denatured our developing system, has, de- has denatured our togetherness, has denatured our unity among ourselves, and that is Nyumbakumi Initiative. My third point is that it's not very effective in urban areas. You find out that Nyumbakumi Initiative is really based on the rural areas than on the urban areas. So Nyumbakumi Initiative is not Kenya's greatest hope for increased security. And citizens will be burdened. Citizens will be burdened since the police will relax. The police will expect the Nyumbakumi households to receive reports. And the Nyumbakumi households don't have time for such things. They don't have time to investigate. They have to work. They have to provide food for their children. They have to stay in unity. Just Before I finish, I just want to draw your mind into a field of fantasy. Nyumba Kumi initiative is just a number. It's not a concept. I am David Ndoro from St. Paul's Lubino High School. Thank you. Ninoma, 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 Noma, Kulipa Dona, Empesa, Ninoma, Noma. Ninoma, 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 Noma, Kulipa Dona, Empesa, Ninoma, Noma. When you stage, Sina Do, Namina try to get to Credo, Nengeko Safari from Nanakopa to Do, Eco Fast, Eco Available, my fish. Network transaction safari com in a party and the better option. Take part in the M challenge by sending your short song, rap, or poem about Safaricom M Pesa on WhatsApp, and you could win 1,000 shillings in Safaricom airtime. proposals have been asked how do we how do we say that Nyumba Kumi initiative is effective yet it is purported that some of the leaders of the Nyumba Kumi initiative are actually hiding criminals and the opposition have been asked how come how can we say that Nyumba Kumi initiative um, is discriminatory to people that proposal you have three minutes they call it spying I call it being irresponsible Nyumba Kumi initiative it's you and I. We cannot talk of leaders in Yumbakumi being criminals. If I am vigilant about the person staying next to me, then I'm able to know the mode of operation he's involved in, in each and every activity he undertakes. The sense of responsibility is what is needed in the, in the society so that we have the security that is going to help our nation. If you we cannot really need a man dressed in combats and boots with a heavy machine, a gun, to keep security. We need some intellect, mental thinking. If I really know that this thing has some negative effect on the society, and this is my neighbor, then I have to report to the relevant authorities so that measures are taken in time. When the madness of an entire nation disturbs a solitary mind. Francis Mbuga says it is not appropriate to call the man mad. We cannot leave this to the police officers. We cannot leave this to our soldiers. It is you and I. Our president says it is you and I. 
I emphasize security is you and you yourself. Watch around you. Give information in time. If there was Nyumba Kumi, I trust this. Nothing could have happened in Westgate. And if, very minimal. Because if people will stay in your locality and they have an ill-aimed activity that they are supposed to perform, then you report this in time. It means measures are going to be taken. Garissa University, we get that people who are involved in these activities are actually people who have been in a place for some time and actually understand what goes on there. If there is a vigilant neighbor who is watching somewhere, can this really happen? Somebody could have already said there is somebody around who wants to kill. Ladies and gentlemen, if we want to save life, we want to save property, and we want to save Kenya, Nyumbakumi Initiative is the only hope. That is the hope we have because we have had soldiers, we have had police officers, but we have seen negative things happen. Try Nyumbakumi. Welcome to Nyumbakumi. I'm already a member. Let us keep security in our nation because that is the only hope we have. I really don't lack words to explain this. I have a basket full of this. But due to the circumstance, circumstances, I have to go. Thank you for your time. It's Okanga Dennis, Friends School Kivaiwa. But opposer, you also have three minutes to respond to the audience. Fellow countrymen, may the best of your today be the worst of your tomorrow. These are the words of Sean Corey Carter, otherwise known as Jay-Z, and me. Really, I'm really interested in his works as an entrepreneur at the same time as a musician. Okay, what does these words relate to us? It relates to one thing. That is, that is, for now, we cannot see what Kenya's produced best. And if we say that the Nyumba Kumi projection has been our greatest hope, we are so much mistaken. What happened when Kenyans woke up on 26th September 2013? We had our worst shock, our first ever terrorism since August 1998, the bombing of the KCC building. That is when Al Shabaab went to Westgate and bombed it up. They did a terrorism attack. My fellow proposer over here has said that this, if it could not be for the Nyumbakumi, the Westgate terror attack could not have happened. Let me try to, to clarify his point in, by saying this. By that time, the Nyumbakumi project wasn't available. After the wake of the terrorism edge attack, they developed the Nyumbakumi project. And in fact, Kenya, we should be more like we are doing it our own aspect. We borrowed it. That wasn't coming from our brains. We weren't creative enough to remove something which can change a nation, which can colonize us. 147 students died in Mandera. Where was the Nyumbakumi project? What happened? Where was Kenya at that time? People were told the government was informed, but the Nyumbakumi project did not act. For my fellow countryman, countrywoman that is, who acts, who acts discrimination about to the people. First, we are violating privacy. It's my base right for me to know if I'm supposed to tell you what I want to tell you. If I want really to tell you what to tell you my basic needs, my basic way of life, my basic way of living. But I cannot tell you that, my dear judges. You cannot tell me right now how many children you have, can you? You can't, because it's your own privacy. You need your own privacy. That's something which is knowledgeable to each and every Kenyan. Okay, it imposes burdens to the citizens. I'm supposed to be fending for my family. I'm supposed to be looking upon other people who are around me. But look around. There is an embolus of Nyumbakumi. One thing that I leave you with, the giant goof 
was once hit by a stone so that it faced and so that his eye faced inside his head and he died of what he saw in there. Nixon Kilonzo Grayson, the Bino Boys, thank you. We'll now hear closing statements. Proposers, you have a minute. My fellow brothers and sisters, aren't we tired of the bloodshed? Aren't we tired of the terrorist attacks? It is high time somebody said enough is enough and did something. You see, you cannot convince a monkey that honey is sweeter than banana. Similarly, you cannot convince me that living a life of hope and hoping without doing anything will change the situation in Kenya. It is high time we embrace the Nyumbakumi initiative for a better tomorrow, for the accomplishment of Vision 2030. You see, good things come to those who wait, but you could miss a very good thing while you hesitate. So my fellow Kenyans, think twice, be wise, and decide once. Join the Nyumbakumi initiative. Thank you. Opposers, you also have one minute. Love is true. Hate is a concept. I have a dream. That's what Martin Luther King said. It took many years for the, for the, for the dream to be fulfilled. That was when Obama became the president of America. Nyumba Kumi is just a dream. And we don't have ears to stop terrorism. Our vision 2030 might be 3020 if Nyumba Kumi continues to be a concept. Thank you. Ian, Noah, and Dennis of Friends School Kivaiwa. There are three steps in a debate. One, need identification, and two, need satisfaction. That means that before I prescribe a solution, I must first of all identify that there is a problem. And that's when I may bring Ian into this particular discussion. You know, if we talk about Nyumbakumi initiative, the problem, this, the thing is, there is a problem in the status quo. And the problem is so serious. And what I expected maybe as a first debater is to bring in possibly the insecurity cases that we have had in the country, the spate of attacks that we have been having. After establishing that concept, then you go ahead and tell your listeners that because of these particular problems, I'm here to propose a solution. And the solution is Nyumakumi Initiative. Security touches on us. It touches on the very fundamental, let me say, of human life. And nobody will, if someone does not feel secure, he'll, he or she will not go about the business. And therefore, as a first speaker, commendable job. Nonetheless, take note of the comment that I've just made. Now, again, very interesting debater and some issues raised. Again, Dennis. And Dennis, you brought into the motion what I really wanted. And what I really wanted was the emotional appeal. You know, appealing to the emotions of the people. This terrorism is here with us. Forget about terrorism. Insecurity is here with us. And therefore, we need a quick solution to it. All of us possibly have suffered emotionally or one way or another because of insecurity. And therefore, I commend you for bringing in that into the motion. Dick, on the, on the other side, um, you know, you're a good speaker when you come to the stage as well and very confident. Um, but when you, re, when you come and start refuting your opponents as the first speaker, we are, le are left wondering where are your points as well because we also need to get your points. So the first thing you do I mean, it's not to cross-examine. Leave that for David, and he will come and do that work. But David, as well, you came and um, gave your best, good analysis on the weaknesses with the Nyumbakumi initiative. You talked about the urban areas challenge that may, they may face and the privacy. So you did well. Kilonzo, good voice. You know, you, you also not intimidated, especially after Dennis has taken over. And you really tried your best to give in uh, uh, some of the points you came across. But you make some uh, statements that are not correct when you say that KICC was bombed. It's still there. It has never been bombed. All right. You need to get your facts right. And you also talked about the Mandera attack. We know of the Garissa attack. So just do your, you know, compose yourself and then give your points in a, in a way that is factual. Thank you. We'll go straight to the numbers now. St. Paul's Lupinu, the judges gave you 65.1%. They deserve a hand. Friends School Kivaiwa, the judges gave you 73%, making you the winners of our debates. 
Congratulations to Friends School Kivaiwa and uh, for our St. Paul's Lubino. We always say the water falls, but it keeps flowing. So from all of us here at the Great Debaters Contest, we'd like to thank Safari Mempesa and KBC Channel One, and urge our viewers to follow us on Twitter at Great Debaters EA. I have been your host, Austin Yambok. And I am Mariam Bishar. We'll see you next time. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom Mpesa.